Section 6 Part 2. Are private hire drivers allowed to drive in bus lanes? Yes. They can drive in bus lanes. B. No. They are not allowed to drive in bus lanes. C. It depends on the situation. Right answer is B because the text states that only licensed taxis can use bus lanes. And private hire vehicles, PHVs, are not allowed to. Can private hire drivers pick up or drop off passengers in bus lanes? Yes. They can pick up or drop off passengers in all bus lanes. B. No. They should avoid picking up or dropping off passengers in bus lanes if possible. C. It depends on the situation. Right answer is B because the text states that private hire drivers can pick up or drop off passengers in most bus lanes, but they should avoid doing it if possible. Are private hire drivers allowed to stop at all bus stops? Yes. They can stop at all bus stops. B. No. They cannot stop at bus stop clearways marked with a wide yellow line by the curb or at designated bus stops on red routes. C. It depends on the situation. Right answer is B because the text states that private hire drivers cannot stop at bus stop clearways marked with a wide yellow line by the curb and at designated bus stops on red routes. Can private hire drivers pick up or drop off passengers at all bus stops? Yes. They can pick up or drop off passengers at all bus stops. B. No. They should avoid picking up or dropping off passengers at bus stops to avoid delaying buses. C. It depends on the situation. Right answer is B because the text states that private hire drivers should try to avoid picking up or dropping off passengers at bus stops to avoid delaying or obstructing buses and may not be allowed at some bus stops. Who can use taxi ranks in London? Licensed London taxis only. B. Private hire vehicles only. C. Both licensed London taxis and private hire vehicles. Right answer is a because the text states that taxi ranks can only be used by licensed London taxis, not by private hire vehicles, PHVs. Can private hire drivers park, wait, pick up or drop off passengers on a taxi rank? Yes, they can park, wait, pick up or drop off passengers on a taxi rank. B. No, they should not park or wait on a taxi rank at any time nor pick up or drop off passengers on it. C. It depends on the situation. Right answer is B because the text states that private hire drivers should not park or wait on working taxi ranks at any time, nor pick up or drop off passengers on a taxi rank. If they do so, they may be fined and TfL may take licensing action against them. Who can use electric taxi charging points? Electric taxis only. B. Private hire vehicles only. C. Both electric taxis and private hire vehicles. Right answer is a because the text explicitly states that electric taxi charging points can only be used for charging electric taxis. What can happen if a private hire driver parks or uses an electric taxi charging point for charging a PHV? They may receive a warning. B. They may be fined and TfL may take licensing action against them which could include suspending or revoking their PHV driver's license. C. They may be allowed to use the electric taxi charging point for charging a PHV if no electric taxis are waiting. Right answer is B because the text indicates that if a private hire driver parks or uses an electric taxi charging point for charging a PHV, they may be fined and TfL may take licensing action against them including suspending or revoking their PHV driver's license. Who can issue penalty charge notices, PCNs? Only on street parking attendants. B. Only enforcement officers. C. Both on street parking attendants and enforcement officers, or in some cases, the registered keeper of the vehicle. Right answer is C because the text states that PCNs can be given out by on-street parking attendants or enforcement officers, or can be sent to the registered keeper of the vehicle if caught on camera breaking the law. What kind of offenses can result in getting a PCN? Only parking offenses. B. Only moving traffic offenses. C. 
both parking offenses and other moving traffic offenses such as driving in a bus lane, banned turns or movements, or blocking a yellow box junction. Right answer is C because the text specifies that a PCN can be issued for parking offenses as well as other moving traffic offenses such as driving in a bus lane, banned turns or movements, or blocking a yellow box junction.